Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to be opening up this box of vintage earrings that I purchased from shopgoodwill.com. And if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is called Girlio. And I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay, and I do direct sales through YouTube. So if you're interested in anything you see in this video, please feel free to contact me at girlyorocks at gmail.com, and we can definitely work something out. And all the instructions on how to order are down below. I ship to the U.S. and international. Shipping within the U.S. under pounds is $5.00. And anything over is based on location and weight. And international shipping is also based on location and weight. And I don't do orders or requests through the comments down below because it gets very messy for me. And I prefer email. So if you could email me, that would be wonderful. And I would love to hear from all of you. Okay, guys, let's open this little guy up. And I've been on a real big earring kick lately. I just love earrings. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's earrings are the easiest way to dress up an outfit. And I love vintage earrings a lot. About $24 for this lot plus shipping and handling. Okay guys, so let's open this up. Okay, this is a small lot, I think. Okay. I may open up another lot. Um, I think this is just one of the lots that I purchased, but I have a few here that I need to go through. So let's see what we have here off to the side and then move you guys over here and let's see the first earring here is quite beautiful it's beautiful we have these rondelles with the rhinestones encrusted very beautiful and oh we have the earring back here which has some verdigris, but I would probably remove that and put on a new one. But I don't know if I have any new ones, but I will probably have to sell it as is if I don't. This is in pretty good condition. Very beautiful earring. I like that a lot. Let's see if we find a match to that. And I think these are all paired up. And we have this earring, and these are plastic. Very pretty print on this. Looks sort of like a tribal print. These are cute, and I think these are all clip-ons and unsigned pieces. Beautiful, so we have that. Those are fun. And we have the matching earring to this. These are really fun. I think these would be great for summer with a nice dress, summer dress white t-shirt really cute and lightweight very nice so we have those and I saw these and I think this is the reason why I bought this lot because I saw this faceted glass and this is definitely glass and this is the back of it and I have a pair of earrings that are really old and I think they might be Victorian but the back of it is really, really heavily patinaed. But this one looks like a relatively new earring, maybe 80s, I'm thinking. Let's see if we find a match to that one in here. And here's the match. These are beautiful and stunning. They're not that heavy. I mean, they have a little bit of weight to them. But the color on these are gorgeous, guys, and they're just so sparkly. How fun are these? So we have those, and oh, so here's the match to the pearl and the rhinestone earring here, and all the rhinestones are there. These are in great condition. 
And this has a nasty little <laughs> back to it that we will remove. So I think this just needs to be wiped down. There is some green stuff there, but I don't think it's too bad. I can easily clean that up. These are lovely. Who says unbranded jewelry is not worth anything? Not I. These are beautiful. And then we have these coins, coin earrings. These have a bit of weight to them. And these kind of remind me of Carol Lee earrings, but these have cherubs in these little, I think they are cherubs or these are really nice. This is the back of it. Um, there is some wear there. I don't know what that is per se. I mean, I think this is pewter. So I don't know if that's just some discoloration that can be removed and cleaned up easily. This one doesn't have it. And this does have a mark, I think. It looks like it's some Asian characters, I think. Can't quite make that out. Can you guys see? Yeah, so there are some characters there. But I'm not sure what those are. But these are really cool earrings. They need to be cleaned up slightly. But really cool. I like those a lot. Then we have this earring, which is really fun. With this sort of mesh dangle. And then we have this little ball thing and a clip on. There's no mark on that, but really cute. Here is its match. Really nice clip on dangly earrings. Really lovely. Like those a lot. Those are fun. And then we have this earring, which I thought was beautiful. I don't know if this is crystal or glass. Should turn on the Presidium, maybe. Maybe we can see if it's glass or crystal. Um, it does have a little mark there, but I think we can take that off. Yeah, it just it will come off. That's beautiful. We've got that flower and the dangle here, and all the facets on there. It's so sparkly. Ooh, that is a stunner. And this is the back of it. And they're foil backs. Uh, this just needs to be cleaned up. This has a back here, which probably could be removed and cleaned up. But it's very beautiful. And let's look for its match here. Here is the match. Just as equally beautiful together. So sparkly. Wow, these are just stunning. If you wear these to a party or out to dinner, wow, you will be sparkling. That is just beautiful. And this one just needs to be wiped down and cleaned as well. But these are gorgeous. So I will have to, because they're unbranded, it's really hard for me to decide on how to price these things. But I, when things are unbranded, I like to try to look things up, I think, according to the description and see if I can find something similar. And if I can't, I sort of base it on how it makes me feel, if that makes any sense. And if I'm excited about the jewelry, I think other people will get excited about it too. So that's how I feel. So these are pretty. These are plastic. And it has a bonus hair here. Oh. Okay, so just put that there so I won't forget to throw that out. So these are black plastic cha-cha earrings. Um, these do need to be wiped down. They are a little bit dirty. They're fun, especially if you have light hair 
where you have your hair up. So very cool. So we have those. And then next we have these earrings. Really pretty. And these are acrylic. And the top here is metal. And this I think you can remove. So you could probably replace this with something else that you may have, or just wear it alone, which is pretty cool. Um, but they're very lightweight, and these are cool. You have that abalone shell there. Really neat. I like those a lot. Let me know, guys. Do you wear clip-on earrings? And if so, do you like wearing them? Or do you hate them with a passion? Let me know down below. Um, I just recently started getting into them. And these are really pretty. And these are glass. And these are clip-ons. Very pretty sort of filigree work here. Really beautiful. And this one, hmm, I don't think this one's closing tight, unfortunately. So I might need to take a closer look at that and see. Let me see. Can I wear this? It's kind of dirty, isn't it? Let's see. No, it's, it's quite loose, actually, so I don't know if that's broken or not. But that's a shame. I'm going to figure out and see if I could... I'm gonna have to take a look and see if I can fix that or not. I'm not sure if I can. But these are beautiful. Okay, so that's not good if it's broken. Then we have this one, really pretty. And these are metal and it has enamel there. These are clip-ons, not marked. And then we have this pair, which is the exact same, except it's a mint green. So we have those two. And then, last but not least, we have these gold cool swirly earrings, which I think are awesome. I love the brushed gold. Very 80s Fantastico. Really, really cool earrings. I love those a lot. So we have those. And I think that was it for this lot. Yeah, let me know, guys, what you thought of this lot. Um, I think I'm going to open up another earring box. So, yeah, let me know your favorites from this, if you had any. And if you wear clip-on earrings. And if these don't sell, I will definitely try to sell them on my Poshmark. But I will probably have to clean them up and charge a premium for it. Because when, whenever I clean the jewelry, it takes time. And time is money. Okay, guys. I am back. And I found the other box of earrings that I purchased. And this one's from Tallahassee, Florida. Okay. So let's open it up and see what we have in here. And I think this was a larger lot, so I may have paid a little bit more than $40 on this. I don't know if it was a good buy or not, because I've had some success with selling clip-on earrings, but I'm not quite sure if there was a market for it. Um, I just know that I like it personally, which is not always a good thing. To do uh, as a reseller to buy things that you like personally, right? Okay, so we have this bag of earrings right here. And so this is first impressions. And it's a vintage earring set lot. So let's dive right in and see what we have. I'm really excited. I hope everything is in good condition. Because I did pay a little bit more for this lot. Okay, first off we have, ooh, this is a fun earring. 
I think I did see these. And I think these are all clip-ons, guys. So just stick around for the fun, beautiful jewelry, even if you're not clip-on earring wearer. I think these are fun. Look at these. These are shells. Look at these guys. Beautiful shell earrings. I think these are acrylic. Really gorgeous clip-on earrings. With this fabric here. It's in good condition. Just needs to be cleaned up, I think. These clip-ons are tight. Really fun, beautiful earrings, guys. I love those. So we have these really pretty earrings. How fun are those? Oh my gosh, love those. Okay, put those down gently. And next we have this earring, really pretty. And that is a pearl and then the swirls here. And this one has a mark. Oh, so this is a Sarah Coventry. You can see that. Sarah Cub and Sarah Cub there. But there is some, I think this is glue residue. It's really pretty. I don't know if that can be cleaned up a little. But we have that. Really nice. Next we have this earring. This looks a little off-center, this little rhinestone. And these are screw backs. It does have a lot of wear. Well, that's pretty. And we have this earring, that's gorgeous. Very, very nice with the bugle beads. That's beautiful. And that just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But even if you don't wear clip-ons, I know I spy queens. I think Anitra did a video on converting the clip-on earrings to uh, post earrings, stud earrings. So I don't know if I'd be willing to do that. Um, that has a little bit of a verdigris spot there, I think. So that needs to be cleaned up. But let me know, guys, if you've ever converted clip-on earrings to stud earrings. And then we have this guy, which I think is missing a bunch of rhinestones. Right? Yeah. That's really pretty, though. And this one is signed art. Very beautiful. Unfortunately, missing a bunch of rhinestones there. And these earrings are gorgeous. And let's see if I can get these untangled so you can see them. Okay, guys, I untangled these guys. So we have these earrings, very, very beautiful. And I've been watching a lot of Dana Stewart Coates, um, Dana's channel. And her channel's called Dana Stewart Coates. That's her name. And I'll leave her a link down below. But she shows absolutely beautiful, beautiful jewelry. And she shows beautiful jewelry that I've never seen in my life. Art Deco pieces. Gorgeous uranium glass pieces. Victorian. Pools of light. Gorgeous jewelry. And... She always does a light show <laughs> in most of her videos where she has, because she has a lot of uranium glass pieces and where she turns down the light and she uses her black light. And I believe these to be uranium glass because they look very much like it. And I only know because I watched Dana and I believe if you were to turn down the lights that these would light up uh, and glow if you turn on the black light. So I'm going to turn 
down the lights. So it's pitch black, right? Let's turn on the black light now. So these are uranium glass earrings. How cool are these guys? So awesome. Deb from Tiny Deer Vintage. She also told me to check all of my glass pieces with the black light because you don't know if they could be uranium or not. But these are uranium glass, so very cool. Let me turn back the light. And I don't know how old these are, but this is the back of the earring. And these look really old, actually. But they are quite amazing. That's the back of the other one. Quite amazing. So we have these earrings. Very, very cool. Okay, so, so far I'm very happy. And then we have this earring, which has the seed beads, and this one has a lot of wear on the back. So we have that. Then we have this little guy, which I wonder if this one's uranium glass because he's really sparkly too. I wonder if I shine the light on him. Oh, I think this is uranium glass too. And yeah, I don't even need to turn down the lights. Whoa, look at that, guys. That is amazing. Beautiful. These do need to be cleaned up, but um, these are gorgeous. Screw back earrings. Wow, stunning. And very sparkly. And here's the other pair. And they're a prong set. Really beautiful. Okay, let's make them glow together like Dana would. Let's make Dana proud. <laughs> wow. Stunning. So you definitely subscribe to Dana's channel. She needs her channel needs to grow because she is just so knowledgeable and you have to check out her channel. And you have to watch her live auctions, which I never can catch because I'm just coming home from work. But um, I watch the replays always, and you definitely, definitely have to subscribe to her channel. So I'll leave her channel down below. She has beautiful, beautiful jewelry, lots of uranium glass. And yeah, it's are stunning. Wow. Okay. So that's really nice. And then we have these earrings here. And now I want to shine a light on everything. See, these don't really glow like these guys do. So these are not uranium. But these are AB coated. I think these are glass. And they're clip-ons. Really cute cluster sort of button earrings. Really like these a lot. They do need to be wiped down, but they're in good condition actually. As I say that, let's see, this is a little loose. <laughs> I like jinxing things. Hmm, there is a little bit of rust happening there, I think. So that is a shame. But I'll see if I can clean these up. Or if anybody wants to, we have these. Okay. Sad thing about these earrings is that they are not always in the best of condition. So that makes me really sad. And if I can't save them, they wind up going to a craft oh, lot. It's beautiful, but I think a lot of the paint has worn off. And this is a really fun plastic earring, really big. I'm not even sure what it's supposed to be. We have that, and here is its match. And yeah, I don't know if the green, it's supposed to be green or blue, but they're now two different colors. We have those earrings, really, really statementy earrings. And we have these earrings, and this looks like rhinestones and thermal set, I believe. Really pretty, these are not marked. They kind of look like coral earrings. 
really pretty. These are in good condition. This earring. Very beautiful. I wonder if this is anything. So will this glow? No. So I think this is just acrylic. I don't know why I did that. But they, they look really cute. A lot of beautiful colored seed beads. And this one is marked. Oh, and these are Vendome. I love Vendome jewelry. I actually have a pair of earrings that I love to wear by them. And a necklace. These are beautiful Vendome earrings. Gorgeous. Love those. Okay. And we have this. Oh, so this is the match to the sky here. And this one does have some wear on the back. Definitely needs to be cleaned up. But the profile on these earrings is pretty amazing. This one's a little off-center, like I said before. So we have those. And we have this big earring here. Whoa. Oh, this is a big one. We have that. And we have its match here. Wow, these are major earrings. The clips on these are good. Wow. These are quite the hoops. The loop de dee loop de dee hoop de hoops. Wow. Those are amazing. So we have those. And we have this earring here, very beautiful. And this is acrylic, and these are rhinestones. I don't think these are anything more than rhinestones, but I guess I could check. Nope, they're just glass. And let me see if I can find the match to this one here. And here's the match. Very beautiful. Beautiful baby blue color. Here's the back of them. These are not marked. Oh, wait, they are marked. These are marked star. S-T-A-R, star. are in great condition. Beautiful fun earrings, like those. Then we have another Aurora Borealis earring here. This one's a teeny tiny one. Hopefully this one's in better condition than the last one. This one looks better. And let me see if I can find a match to it here. I don't see it right away. Okay, so I'm going to put this one down until we find its match. Then we have this earring. Very beautiful. Seed beads. Uh, there is a lot of green stuff happening here, unfortunately. So that might go into craft. This one's beautiful. Right? And this one has mark? No. This one's just dirty. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned up. That's pretty. Sparkly guy. So let's see if I find a match to that one. And we have this one. This one's pretty too. There's no mark on this guy. Okay, let's see if we find a match. And we have this one. Really beautiful. All the rhinestones are there. Really pretty. Okay. Then we have these little screw back earrings. They're painted leaves, little pearl and enameled earrings. How cute and dainty are these guys? And the backs are gorgeous too. I wonder if these are. Oh, well, they are marked. These are. Marked Crements. Crements. And they do have a bit of wear over there. And 
This one looks okay. So, but they need to be, and a little bit up there. So these will definitely need to be cleaned up, and this one's missing some of the paint here. But they are so sweet, these earrings. Very, very cool Clements earrings. Okay, next we have this little guy. And this one just broke off, but I think this is an easy fix, I hope. So I'm going to put that one off to the side. Oops. And we have this guy. It's a rhinestone. Really beautiful. This is the back. This could use a good cleaning. But that's pretty. And we have a match to this guy. And I believe this is a right and a left earring. I believe, and you have these turned in towards your face. These are not signed. They're beautiful. Really pretty. So we have those. Ooh, I like these a lot. So we have the pearl, and this looks like a sunflower. How dramatic are these earrings, right guys? Beautiful, brushed gold. I love all the detail and the petals here. These are not marked, but they need to be cleaned. They are beautiful, guys. I love these a lot. Okay. Let's see. Next, we have these earrings. And they're painted and they're metal. And there's a pearl in here that's stuck in there. Not sure if we can get him out. There he goes. So we will leave him here. But um, these are really pretty. Very beautiful. I love the paint strokes on the leaves there. Pretty hot pink color. And there is some white stuff here. Don't know exactly what that is. Could be, maybe it's paint, I'm not sure. We have these earrings. Fun. Okay. Then we have these earrings, which are broken. And they're dusty, but they're cute. They're like felted balls. And I wonder if the top of this is here somewhere. So I am kind of always wary of buying these vintage lots because sometimes a lot of the stuff is broken and it always makes me so sad. And yeah, so that's broken. So unless we find the top of it, might go into craft. Oh, so we have a match to this guy, this beautiful earring here, all the seed beads. And I think it's here. And we have this yellow earring here. And these are marked Japan. So they're marked Japan right there. Really beautiful yellow. They're acrylic earrings. So we have those. Then we have this really beautiful clip-on earring with all the pearls. I don't know if it's missing one there. I'm not sure. Then we have this earring. Ooh, these are fun. These are clip-on earrings. These have a mark that says patent pending right there. No other mark aside from that. There's a little spot of verdigris. But these are beautiful. It's got this really beautiful sort of crackly plastic and then the leaf there. Gorgeous, very. 50s, 60s look to them. 
a lot of these earrings do have that 50s, 60s look. And this one's marked Japan too. Very pretty. Orange sherbet color. I want to have some match to it. This is the back of them. It's very old looking, so it probably needs to be wiped down and cleaned. Those are fun. And we have this earring. Oh, they're paired together. And they are clip-ons. This is the back of them. And these look really old. Gorgeous. I love these guys. Wow, these are pretty. And yeah, these are gorgeous. I wonder if I should try and attempt to convert some of these into post earrings. Let me know, guys, if you had success with doing that. But these are gorgeous. Love those. Then we have this earring here. Really interesting. I don't know if that's dirt or not sure what's going on there. We have one of those. Ooh, this is pretty. But I think it is missing a stone there and a stone there and a couple here. That's really pretty at one point. Wow, beautiful. I wonder if these are glass. Let's see. Yeah, those are glass. It's a shame. Here's the other one. They are both missing a lot of the blue stones, unfortunately. But you know, if you have them on, you really cannot tell, right, from afar. I think these are still so stunning. They're not marked. Um, they do have a little bit of wear and I think some verdigree happening, so that's a shame. Okay, we have this earring, which I think matched the broken earring we saw earlier. And we have one of these acrylic earrings. This looks like Hong Kong. So we have one of those. And then we have this blue earring. And these feel like ceramic earrings. This one's marked Japan. And we have one of these earrings here. Very pretty. Sun flower looking earring. So we've got a match to it. And this is the match. This is the back of it. There is some wear. So it definitely needs to be cleaned up. Beautiful though. And we have this earring which matches this one. Really lovely. And that needs to be cleaned as well, but very, very beautiful. We have a match to this earring here. Very beautiful, but I don't know what that yellow stuff is. I might need to just wash these and see how they come out. So we have that. Okay. Oh, we saw this earlier, didn't we? Yes. Here's the match, and these are screw backs. Beautiful. This one, I'll have a bit of uh, green stuff. I don't know if it's verdigris or um, DNA, but these are both very beautiful earrings. So we have those. Uh, we had a match to this one, but I think it was all verdigreed out. So yes, this one will go into Craft, or I might try and attempt to clean it, but I don't know if I can. It's pretty badly corroded. So we'll put that aside. And we have this earring here. This is acrylic. And we got the filigree balls, and this one says Lisner. Lovely. 
And here is the match to the Lisner. And pretty. Sort of like a faux gold stone. It's in good condition. Then we have this earring here with the filigree and then this cute looking fabric. Sort of a point, pointel, I think. That's really cute. Let's see if the match is here. And yes, it is. Here we go. Really lovely. That's the back. I mean, a good cleaning, as do all of these. Oops. But if uh, you buy them, I probably will try to wipe them down, but I won't go beyond that because I don't want to ruin them. So we have these earrings. Really beautiful. And then we have this one, which is really pretty too. This is Japan as well. We have this rhinestone, which we saw earlier, right? I thought we did. Do not see the match. Oh, yes, here we go. It's oval earrings. Really beautiful. This is the back of them. They look to be very old. Just going to test these. Nope, just glass. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, just a few more guys. Oh, here's the match to the Sarah Coventry earring we saw earlier. Really beautiful. And they are clip-ons. And this one looks like it's a little bit loose, so I'm not sure. And then there's rust. See, some of these boxes are just so dis disappointing. Um, so I don't know, I think that might go into craft. Or if I have a rainy day, I'll try and clean it. Or if you want it, you can try and clean it too. And then we have these earrings here. Very pretty. These need a good cleaning too. The clips on these are good. Beautiful, sort of abstract sprout or flower. We have those, and then just a few more items, guys. We have the Japan earrings, and these are glass and uh, ceramic. That's the back of them. Okay, and then we have these earrings, which are marked. Ooh, these are marked Emmons, guys. You see Emmons? Emmons. I don't think I've ever owned a pair of Emmons earrings before. These earrings. These are gorgeous. Really beautiful. I wonder if I should shine the light on them. No, they do not glow like the others. But these are gorgeous Emmons earrings and they're in great condition. So we have those. And then we have this, which is broken. So that will go into craft. And we have one of these earrings. And this one definitely probably will go wind up in craft too. And then we have this earring, which, hmm, where's the other one? There we go. These are Japan earrings. We have these. Yeah, guys. I think that is all she wrote. So, what did you think of this interesting lot of earrings we saw here? Really impressed by all the iridium glass that we found. These guys were definitely a fave. Um, yeah, there were a lot of craft pieces that definitely made me sad because I don't think I can repair them, but I think there were a lot of beautiful pieces here. These uranium glass earrings are amazing. 
they do have a little bit of wear, but I mean, they're so old. I mean, how can you not have wear and be that old, right? Those were stunning. And I liked these pearl earrings. What else did I like? These little quilted earrings or fabric earrings. These were beautiful, these rhinestones. There were so many beautiful pieces here. Let me know, guys, if you liked anything, if you would wear any of this jewelry. But um, yeah, guys, let me know what you thought. What If you had any favorites, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you like clip-on earrings, leave down below. Let me know that like button if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And hit the bell notification to be notified of any other jewelry videos I may do. And most of all, guys, be well. Thanks for watching.